you guys what's going on if she's first come back to today with another clash of video and guys in this particular video we would go ahead and recap the ivory division final for ewl season 5 which was between eagle nest and one hive origin so this is going to be quite close war guys as you can see right now 60 60 was the draw and on the tiebreaker we had some different scores and first of all let's just get started with this uh, the first war and then we'll go ahead and watch the winning attacks from both of the sides So let's just go and get into the attacks guys All right boys getting started with attack number one We have six going against a domination in a 10 v 10 attack and your favorite strategy drag bad But let me tell you one thing guys uh, this war wasn't done a day or two back when this this strategy actually gained popularity uh, This was uh, done on mid-December. I think 16th of December was the date of this war So it wasn't quite popular at that time and one high regions kind of using that as an advantage as obviously Not having those special bases all designed up Bases I take some time guys and pretty good move by one high regions six especially uh, to coming off with this strategy and let's get back into the tag guys we had two love hounds and they are tanking uh, quite well for the dragons the two of them are now popping up we have the stone slammer in the core and now we have deployed those uh, bad spells and look at them tearing apart the base guys the dragons are handling the downside of the base we have the race spell down now and these bad spells would absolutely tear apart the base guys just find a few defenses left and nothing can definitely stop uh, these uh, bad off and even the uh, even the slammer hasn't popped guys quite op right so yes let's just put it on the two x speed r6 had no issues picking off a three star right now troll tesla uh, would actually take some time but these bats are super quick guys you all know that and we might have a new strategy video coming on on this uh, this strategy like various ways of using the drag bat but anyways guys we keep that aside and now let's move to the next attack Alright guys, this time we will go with another 10v10 attack. We have Sumantha 2 going against Akshad and this is going to be an Electron attack with a little bit of switch guys and that would be, we would be using a battle, uh, not the battle blame but a stone slammer. So that was the twist and yep, uh, two clone spells and a rage spell goes down, uh, taking down one multi inferno and two eight defenses as well. Valley was uh, decent enough. And how about the queen? Yep, he got the queen as well. So yeah, a pretty decent value and his electro dragon is still alive. Would be taking down that CC as well. We have our heroes working downside with one baby dragon to actually alter this base even better guys. And that electro dragon was kind of low on hit. So lucky to get that dragon all wiped up. And yeah, the, the heroes, the sweet heroes and a couple of wizards are doing some fine job. And now comes the Lalo potion, guys. And let me tell you, this was a smooth AF, guys. This attack, pretty smooth, pretty easy. Lalo pathing by Samantha over here. And yeah, towards the final end of the base as well, guys. The loose didn't actually had uh, many issues with the pathing. As yeah, the defenses were kind of not very well placed, like staggered. And yeah, Samantha took a pretty good advantage of that thing having still a last haste spell and one poison as well and a balloon parade guys loads of loads of balloons we don't really have any air defenses at the back end so lava hound is kind of hiding and working out with those loons and last haste spell comes down just now and that will be taking down the last wizard tower and the last cannon now electric dragon would do some swag chains chain lightning effects and we also have a swag poison coming towards your way you all know i love swags pretty good attack all right guys for the third attack getting some spotlight on 9v9 action as well and a base with the sets of air defenses you know what we're calling for a drag loon attack and if you want to learn this strategy guys i have a detailed guide on this strategy i have a separate video on it and it would be on the top right hand of your screen right now you can definitely go ahead and watch it after this video but for now let's just focus on this attack having the zap spells uh, to take down uh, that back end air defense and now uh, the heroes would be kind of sniping down that air defense as well electro dragon working his way down on the southern side of the base and soon we'll have our dragons working their way inside the base as well and look at the uh, look at the chain lightning effect of this electro dragon guys boom 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 no issues 
picking off a pretty decent damage on the base with that chain lightning effect and the dragons are making their way right now towards that expo and yeah going quite well just facing that sweeper not too good but anyways we'll work with it having the rage spell to kind of contradict that uh that air sweeper and now having the lalo coming in and this time uh king cruel actually stepped in with more of the loons and having the first hair spell coming down would have no issues picking off those loons to that air defense and find a few defenses left on the top right top left hand side of the base actually and yeah plenty of loons are left plenty of dragons are left and that hit spell was kind of bit early but uh, no issues picking off a three star still having a lot of dragons still having those loons alive and that one last loon was quite good to distract that visit tower although it actually got stuck on the tesla but anyways guys going to your pretty decent three star good job cruel and yes guys let's move towards more of the attacks all right guys switching up the play and now we have eagle nests attack coming towards us and look at the army guys look at the army 12 baby dragons uh sorry not 12 baby dragons 17 baby dragons 12 loons 5 minions the stone slammer we have seven of the bad spells with us and they would be going down just now under raid spell guys and look at the damage no comments just look at the damage this was before the update i guess guys uh not too sure uh, but yeah i think so it was before the balancing update but even if it wasn't guys look at the value pretty nice right he has taken down three of the air defenses with the bad spells and the fourth one would be going down with the heroes and now we have the wave dragons and the loons working our way inside the base and that cc is now lured out and yes guys i'm not sure if that was switch in the plan or was it uh, the way he planned those wave dragons actually all going in at the same spot and this was actually the con that he was actually missing on to their self raging ability but he had a rage spell to cover this thing up and that would be coming down in just a second behind comes the loons and they would be targeting the rest of the defenses guys and he kind of missed his queen's ability as well but that shouldn't be big of an issue those uh, dra those baby dragons should be good to work their way down and we have the stone slammer coming in and it would be tearing down at the right side of the base by itself guys and inside that would be max loons won't be actually coming out right now pretty good health points on that slammer would be tanking for a baby dragons as well as they do their work it it's it's quite good guys it's quite good for such type of attacks as it kind of took down the right side of the base all by itself and now we have the max loons coming down just going towards that last defense the heroes kind of missed it uh, and i missed it too but anyways guys having a pretty comfortable three star with those loons and the baby dragon are now kind of using their ability to wipe off this base and now we'll move towards more attack guys so subscribe by the way if you already haven't and yes guys let's go so guys now what we have is another town hall 9 attack knocking our door and pretty decent attack spoiler alert by the way and we have the queen wall going down from the southern side of the base having the baby, baby dragon working off on the funnel so he kind of gets his queen towards the left hand side of the base and yeah queen walks take a lot of time guys but they are damn op at town hall 9 i kind of love the queen walk attacks but anyways guys uh yeah that's personally the attacker's choice but i can't really help it out and having that baby dragon and the witch as well i guess they're coming all out and having the rage spell a poison spell as well we have no issues for the queen to take down that cc having that bk at the right spot guys i absolutely love this part guys uh, this is definitely one of my favorite attacks from uh, this uh, war guys as yeah everything worked, worked almost perfect as planned guys that a uh, wall break was quite decent enough to give him access to not both of the air defenses but also towards a little bit core of the base i can call it core i'm not too sure uh, but yeah maybe the core of the base and now we will have a lalo potion coming in guys with the max lava in the cc that was quite a cool move as well and now there we go the loons are coming in and there goes the lava as well the second lava comes up and we are going to see some more loons are popping in the minions are back end to do some uh, to do some clean up side by side and now having the rage spell quite early but yeah that was good enough 
uh, to take down that Vizu Tower and those Archer Towers as well. Having the Haze spell now, moving towards the final portion of the base, guys. Having a lot of loons still alive. Lava Hound tanked so beautifully and such an overwhelming attack, guys. Having that last Haze spell down and boom goes down the base and look at the number of loons still alive guys it's absolutely a balloon a balloon parade and by the way baby uh, baby barbarian i like that name though uh but yeah you got crushed right now but anyways power pretty decent attack and now let's move for some 9v9 action guys so this time we are going to see a gobo la loon attack in this attack guys having that early poison all done and the golem is now making its way and tanking for the queen and a couple of wizards and another golem comes down towards the southern side of the base with three wizards who are working their way on creating the funnel and funnel was a pretty strong point in this attack guys pretty good job by hank on that funnel uh, i must say that and now there would be the gem spell coming down there we go the gem spell comes down now and the bolus from the cc as well the funnel was all set for his bolus to get ready and jump into the core guys and yeah got a little bit of luck as one or two of the bullets actually went out uh, so yeah but nah not a big of an issue for us right now and 27 percent is what the kill squad has already picked off guys and there we go comes down the raid spell for the bowlers and those bounces would be quite overwhelming for this base guys and yeah the bowlers are doing quite well on that wall and having the last heat spell guys and that will be coming down for the kill squad as well so all spells invested for the kill squad except three hay spells guys and that was a pretty good value with the kill squad no worries how many spells you have used but the value you can see was pretty decent guys just a little bit of uh differences left or towards the bottom side of the base and the top side is almost all gone guys so one visit tower and one archer tower that can kind of hinder the progress but towards the back end of the base guys i think that the the loons were quite too much surgical uh, that they kind of were not at the same spot at the right time and that's why just three of the loons were left for the back end of the base that was quite lucky for Hank to pick off a pretty decent value of his skill squad uh, as it could have been in a fail guys and for now let's move towards the tiebreaker round of this war and have a look at the two of the last attacks of the war. So guys now we are looking at the tiebreaker round of this war the finale pretty thrilling finale guys and for now what we are going to see is a witch slap attack or a stoned go vv whatever you want to call it guys and yeah although the, uh, the strategy that we are seeing right now the witch slap or go vv is quite overpowered but guys when it is the finale of a league like ewl and it is the tiebreaker round you have a zero zero room for error and i can actually imagine the pressure that these guys would be having on them so i must feature this last attack guys and there we go the witches are doing quite well having the hound cc is not what you would kind of prefer for the witches attack but anyways guys it was going quite well so far having the first jump spell down and still having holding on to the spells the free spell was used on the those lava pups but couldn't actually have a lot of value and now the bowlers kind of interesting that how late they were deployed guys but uh, no issues now the last jump spell would take them the bowlers to the final section of the base and now we will have one rage spell and one huge spell and look at the goddamn bounces of the bowlers guys absolutely humiliating those back end defenses and picking off a pretty comfortable three star very 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 good job over there arjun pretty high pressure situation i know that bro but you absolutely killed it and take the win for your team but we still have another attack coming in from one high origins guys let's go and make our way towards that attack okay guys the last attack of the video but in this attack the eagle nests were already celebrating their victory but still many had a lot of pressure again guys finale and a tiebreaker situation no matter you win or lose it is a high pressure situation guys and in with the traditional witch slap attack uh 
at roll tesla on the right hand side is actually giving those which is a hard time and he kind of lost a couple of witches over there i guess but first of the german spell is now coming down guys and the heroes are moving in with the bowlers in the cc as well they are doing the same thing moving towards the core and what he has in cc is a baby dragon and a valkyrie a couple of valkyries and some of the archers guys and now having the rage spell down and we still have another jump spell to give us entry towards the core of the base guys and a lot of bowlers actually move towards the left hand side of the base and the same with the witches as well and that valkyrie is kind of uh, the Valkyrie is kind of actually took down his right hand side so he was all dependent on his heroes and the left hand the left hand army uh, that was the bowlers and like four witches and he used the jump spell over there uh, to get those troops back in but not all of them came in some of the bowlers came in having the rage spell on them they would be taking that side down but we still have a lot of defenses back in guys wasn't looking like a three star to me at this moment but those healers actually switch on to the queen guys you still have the ability with the queen and it kind of turned out to be a mini queen walk guys and that would be the key for this attack to be a successful three star attack there we go the queen was under the ability no defenses could target her and now she is on the full health the witches are doing some quite a job quite a well job but that splash damage would actually take them down and yes guys the mini queen walk actually saved many over there for a three star but anyways guys this was the war and congratulations to the eagle nest for picking off the victory so that's it with the finale recap guys thank you so much for tuning in and many congratulations to the winning team for uh, winning the ivory division and yes guys uh, so i'll see you next time i guess and peace out guys Show.